So really all day I find myself helping people with hydroponics, whether it be answering questions through emails, comments on YouTube videos, making YouTube videos, or answering questions that people have, students over in the School of Hydroponics or Master Your Tower Garden. So I realized a pattern over time and I noticed the number one thing that is responsible for more hydroponic garden deaths than any other thing. And it's so interesting that it's, it's really not discussed very often at all. It's actually kind of hard to find this information unless you know what you're looking for. So in this video, I'm gonna spell out exactly what happens, the course of action, the cause and effect that leads to your plants dying in your hydroponic garden, I'd say probably eight times out of 10. I'm gonna start with the death. What actually happens at the very end is your pH gets thrown off. I'd say at least twice a day, I get somebody with an email or a comment telling me about how they can't keep their pH down around 6.0 where it needs to be for like their tower garden. In tower gardens, this problem is particularly pervasive because the size of the nutrient reservoir, 20 gallons, it becomes harder to maintain the pH in that level when you have this particular issue, which I'm gonna to get to here in just a second. So the issue at hand really is that people put hard water into their hydroponic gardens. Hard water contains a lot more calcium and calcium buildup makes it really difficult for your plants to take in nutrients. Uh, it throws your pH to a much more basic pH. It keeps it really high. No matter what you do, you can get in there every day and adjust your pH and you'll notice just it naturally starts to go more and more basic. That's because your water is hard. It has more salts in it. And maintaining the pH in hard water is next to impossible. Now, if you don't know about why pH is so important, I've discussed this a lot on this channel. Check out these videos right here. I'll give you a real quick rundown. Basically, if your pH is off by more than two points, then your plant will have a high potential to go in nutrient lockout. This is when it can't take in any of the nutrients, even if they're in the water, if they're available and they're right there, your plant can't actually absorb those nutrients because your pH isn't set properly. So if your plant has a requirement of about 6.0 and your pH is up at like 8.5 or way down at like 3.5, then you're gonna have some real issues and your plant's gonna go into nutrient lockout, which means you're gonna start seeing every single nutrient deficiency in the book, uh, probably starting with yellowing of the leaves, just a weaker plant growth altogether. And of course, the telltale sign where your pH will just constantly keep heading up towards a more basic level. Now, why does this happen so frequently? Well, because people are just using tap water to fill their tower garden reservoirs, which I understand it's 20 gallons of water People will just want to use their hose to get that job done most of the time. I personally just use reverse osmosis water and reverse osmosis water does have a little bit of a reputation for being a pH nuisance as well. Uh, and it can at first be a little bit all over the place, but I've noticed once your plant gets a little bit larger and you, and you, and you get in there every few days to maintain your pH, it starts to balance itself out. And I haven't had any real problems after about the second or third week with reverse osmosis water. If you're using tap water or hose water, not only will you run into issues with harder water, but you could run into some serious issues with calcium toxicity. So there you have it. The number one problem is kind of a two-part problem. It's using tap water or harder water in your hydroponic garden. What it leads to is a pH that is almost impossible to maintain where it needs to be. It's always gonna keep going up. Because of that, you're just gonna start to give up on your garden or you're gonna walk away for a week and you'll come back a week later and all of a sudden your plants are dead. That's because the pH went all the way up to like eight or nine, which caused your plant to uh, lock out the available nutrients and then it just died. I truly hope from the bottom of my heart that this video has saved your plant. If I could have saved just one plant with this video, then this would have all been worth it for me. So if this was the information that you've been looking for, um, I'm just so glad to have been there for you. And make sure you check out all the other free information I have over at humblegrowthhydroponics.com. I'll put a link in for you in the description box and right here. Don't forget, if you wanna take things to the next level, I have the School of Hydroponics and Master Your Tower Garden course for everyone trying to make hydroponics your number one gardening method. All right, well, until the next video, can't wait to read your comments and let's grow together. Thank you.